Over 65,000 people complete or attempt suicide every year in Australia. In 2016, 75% of completed suicides were carried out by men. The simple fact is, many of those men live and work in regional Australia. These numbers are likely to be underreported due to the difficulties in determining a person's intentions, reporting problems and the stigma around suicide and self-harm. Despite billions of dollars of government money being spent on mental health in Australia, the sad fact is the incidents continue to rise at a startling rate and the number of completed suicides continues to increase. More needs to be done. Sadly, men are three times more likely to complete a suicide than a woman. Men are at greatest risk simply because they are less likely to seek help. In general, remote locations suffer higher levels of poor health and mental illness than what is found in urban areas. In the state of Queensland alone, farmers are more than twice as likely as the general population to take their own lives. In remote parts of the state, the suicide rate for farmers was up to five times that of non-farmers. According to Health Reimagined, well men lead to well communities. The not-for-profit organisation has developed an innovative solution to help combat the problem, bringing together qualified suicidologists, clinicians, comedians, musicians and those with a lived experience. A key element of the tour, Mark McConville's laughter clinic. I would love to write a new Panadol ad and it would be real and it would be Australian. This is what you would see. Some guy would rock, rock up and go, Panadol. Australia's most trusted pain reliever. If pain persists, take another couple. <laughs> if you have a physical illness in our country, if you have cancer, leukaemia, if you have any type of physical illness, you can go to a hospital, get into the public health system, and you will be given whatever you need when it comes to treatment to whatever end. To whatever end. Rainbow sheep. Right, I know, who would have thought they all come from Nimbin? Now apparently they're sheep. In Australia we lose around 3,000 people a year to suicide and we lose around 1,100 people a year on our roads. And how much money does the federal government spend on road safety campaigns as opposed to expenditure on, on mental health and well-being. The Well Men Tour is a series of events created by men, for men, to engage with men in community on a face-to-face -face level through comedy, connection and mateship. The Roadshow has recently completed a tour throughout regional communities in far north Queensland, travelling through Cairns, Port Douglas and the Atherton Tablelands. The mental, social and physical wellness focus of the events has been very well received some men finding it within themselves through the event format to speak openly about how they're feeling. Not only have these men been able to share openly in a safe place with other men, they have been able to walk away with positive pathways to support them through their struggles. And the newfound friendships forged through these events shouldn't be underestimated. Hundreds of men and women have gathered in community halls to hear the important messages and share their stories in a non-confrontational environment. For me personally, once I started sharing my story, I heard so many more stories which were similar or worse than mine, which really put things in perspective. It was a massive weight off my shoulders just being able to talk to somebody. And, you know, even if nobody... It's, it's not the fact, you know, when you're talking about these things, it's, it's just the process of, of saying it out loud and getting it off your chest and not holding it in, that can be all the difference. One critical takeaway that all men and women in attendance at the Wellman Tour events have found valuable is the free Wellman app, created by former golf pro and Men's Resource Centre CEO Grant Westhall. We were able to incorporate the survival handbook on that, as well as crisis numbers. So anywhere in Australia, a bloke can actually just download the app, it's free. He can hit one button and talk to somebody, whether it's lifeline, suicide, callback line, men's line, you know, whatever, headspace. And I think that's one of the keys is that and they can download it in their own time too. You know, they don't have to ask permission. On the app, there's an 18 day challenge as well, which has really sort of evolved from the positive mentoring program and nine tips for staying alive. 
So that's when I've been walking beside guys considering suicide and just sort of say, you know, how did you get here? What do you need to keep going? What's important here? What are the triggers? Um, and guys will talk. Like, you, know, you know, people keep saying, oh, men won't talk, they do. The feedback from the events has been overwhelmingly positive, particularly with men who are doing it tough. I thought it was really good to know that there are services out there aimed specifically for men because I do feel like men are often left out of the equation in this day and age and lots of them struggle with knowing how they should be and how they should act. I loved it, I really did. I think there needs to be a lot more social interaction with men and it's really nice to know that there are organisations like this uh, to help men and facilitate that. It's just getting men out to participate, that's the really hard thing. I think it just brings people together, it brings communities together and it shows people that they're not alone. They can learn a little bit more about other people in the community or, or in, you know, in the wider community that are in a similar role. That it's, every, everyone's got a different story. Australians are more likely to die by suicide than skin cancer. Yet there is still not a clear or united process for managing and preventing suicide. Ingrid Steed, CEO of Health Reimagined, is a qualified clinician and has been working in the suicide prevention space for many years. She says from her experience and knowledge of programs on offer, more needs to be done to support men and stem the flow of what has become a national epidemic. I think the sense of connection is really what's been um, missing. Um, I think this is one of the things that really makes a difference with the Well Man Tour in that it actually um, connects communities, it connects people, it connects men together and it connects um, everybody with the information that's written by men for men and um, it's really, really very important. I think one of the pivotal points of difference that this tour has in spite of other um, programs that are out there is that very sense of connection. Um, you know, that mateship and that ability to be able to forge ahead together um, with information that is appropriate. It is hoped the Well Man Tour can continue throughout regional Australia and provide a much needed intervention for men in need. We need to get out into the communities and give them the information that they may not be getting because uh, the information that you're getting on the news is one thing, it's all negative. Right, okay, boys. When we go out into a community and we're in a community centre and we've got 30 or 40 people that are coming in and connecting on a humanistic level with other people in the community that they may not usually talk to or associate with, and we're imparting knowledge about suicide prevention skills, how to look after yourself, what are risk factors, what are protective factors. The importance, obviously, from my point of view, of humour and laughter, and and giving them some comedy, and given you know, getting everyone in the room laughing. Um, I think we've seen, without a sh any shadow of a doubt, over the last three nights, the impact that we've had on people in Mackay, in Cairns, and then last night in Port Douglas, and you know, tonight here we are in in Atherton. They they love it, you know, they really love it. The people that are coming into the room you know, sad, despondent, feeling as though, you know, they haven't got much to look forward to in their life. And then we saw it last night, you know, we've got guys walking out with a sense of hope. Will you be strong enough to be my man? 